While the site is being cleared, a fisheries biologist should be consulted regarding recommendations that will enhance the fishing. Creating good structure in your pond can lead to great fishing. The pond bottom can be sculpted in such a way to concentrate fish during different times of the year. Fish, especially bass, will relate to any change in bottom contour. This includes points, humps, ledges, and ditches. The amount of cover and the way it is arranged in the bottom of the pond will greatly affect your fishing success. During construction, a few standing trees and stumps can be left to attract fish. Fallen trees, stumps, and rocks can be pushed into piles and anchored to the bottom of the pond. If water is already in the pond, trees can be sunk in groups using rope and concrete blocks. Another technique often used is to place limbs and small trees in a bucket and fill it with concrete. Generally speaking, the more surface area of an object, the more fish it will attract. Another consideration is that hardwood trees, such as oaks and hickories, generally deteriorate slower than softwood trees. Cedar trees last quite a while and have more surface area. Mock orange or Osage orange trees found in the Black Belt region are very long lasting. Styrofoam floats are often attached to the tops of trees so that they will stand up. If available, artificial material will last even longer. Construction materials such as concrete culverts, pallets, and PVC are often used to track fish. It is important that this material is grouped in large piles or windrows rather than spread out across the bottom. This way fish are concentrated in certain areas instead of spread out. Ideally, about three fish attractors per acre should be installed and they should be adequate casting distance away from each other and the bank. As for location, fish attractors should be placed at various depths within the pond where the fish may be during different times of the year. Usually fish attractors should be placed in less than 10 feet of water to provide sufficient dissolved oxygen during the warmer months. Although it's not necessary, pea gravel can be placed in less than 3 to 4 feet of water to encourage the bluegill to bed in certain areas. Pea gravel beds should be at least 3 inches thick and cover an area of at least 100 square feet. It is also important that the fish attractors can be located once the pond is full. If the fish attractor is not visible above the surface, they can be marked with something such as a buoy or a duck decoy. For large impoundments, an aerial photo is often useful to show underwater structure. GPS locations of certain spots could be established for larger ponds. 